Oh, hi there, folks. It's uh, Simon here, Ario's Pipe Smoker, on a sunny Sunday afternoon. <clears throat> I just haven't had the time this week to um, put a video up, actually. I've been, uh, one thing and another, doing some mechanics on my van, um, changing the prop shaft bearings, and... Uh, there's Bastille Day, which is a, a French holiday, the middle of the week. Um, I was had all the best intentions, actually, to pop down the road, because at, at the bottom of my road that goes down the mountain, the Tour de France passed, and I completely got my days muddled up. I, I kind of just assumed it was Thursday, uh, but in actual fact, they had passed on Tuesday, so... I apologise to at least one of my subscribers, I know, would have been um, quite thankful of a, of a Tour de France pass, but alas, it was not to be. The tobacco wrapping is um, still continuing. I've done um, in the week, actually probably no, prior to this week, um, I unwrapped them yesterday and uh, I've got them hanging up to dry a bit more. Um, cue photograph. So yeah, I've done um, the three that I, I, I showed on a previous vid video. Uh, now there's an addition of, um, I guess it's an English mix with some Latakia and Perique and Virginia and Burley and all that goodness. And one that is... Kind of, um, I'm calling it orange oriental. It's um, quite heavy on the orange, Virginia. And I don't know, I think I put about, I forget exactly, 20, 30% um, oriental in there. Um, and today I'm going to wrap up um, another oriental mixture, which is the crumb of a grad leaves. Um, and again, I, I think I've gone quite heavy. Uh, probably round about 60% oriental leaves and then the rest um, a mixture of um, Virginia and Burley and the last little sprinkles of Latakia and Perique that was left. So although I have not been here I have been busy. <laughs> oh, looks like the sun's gone in behind a cloud. We have been getting quite a few um, not rainstorms, I mean, it has been quite wet actually recently, but yeah, some, some, some quite intense um, electrical mountain storms, which is quite normal this time of year. I'm still not doing uh, much walking, the ankle is still um, far from perfect. I kind of missed my doctor's appointment in the week with this Tour de France mix up, and of course the um, Bastille Day, which I think was Wednesday. Um, so yeah I missed out on that but yeah they've given me some different anti-inflammatories and painkillers and there's still a big lump there but the, the, the pain's gone down and I can sort of feel it grinding or something weird so until I go back to the doctors and get the results blah 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 that's an ongoing story so um, I'm still taking it easy um, and today I am smoking this pipe it's uh, got a 9mm filter, really nice grain actually, um, I, don't, I don't imagine it's going to come out in this light and this camera lens. Um, and it's pretty, well it's stamped Metro and I don't think there was ever a make called Metro. Um, I think it was uh, maybe there's the stamp of a particular tobacconist, um, it was quite an old pipe. It was new when I got it actually, um, like unsmoked on French eBay. And talking of pipes, it's partly the reason for I'm not putting a video up actually. I, the, 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 there was a long shot I was going to get another batch of pipes arriving um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But looking on the tracking it looks like it's probably, fingers crossed, going to be Monday. Um, got quite a good selection of pipes coming in from Denmark. Uh, amongst them there's uh, some nice old BBBs. And I think there's five or six old Eric Nordings. Um, they all look to be quite good condition. 
Ah, the wind's blowing. Hold on, let me cut back in. I'm going to stop for a second, so I don't think I have the, 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 what do we call it? Oh, sorry about that. I was just um, thought I didn't have the wind reduction facility turned on on the camera, so, uh, but it turns out it is. So anyway, where was I? Yeah, um, some nice pipes coming in from Denmark, BBBs. I think I've got about 10 BBBs of uh, various ages, numbers, sizes, shapes. Um, I think there's five or six, like I said, Eric Nordings, um, and some other pipes that, um, so far, I, I haven't found a huge amount of information out there. Um, called Portland, from, from, from Portland Pipes. Um, and it seems to be a bit of a hodgepodge, um, a kind of, I've probably got this slightly wrong, but I think they were, something like they were designed in Italy and made in Denmark by an English company or vice versa but they, they yeah it seems to be um, English Danish and um, Italian pipes um, but until they turn up and I can do some research um, that, that's about as far as I've got and also some old vintage um, what they called uh, Greco Greco Greco, Greco. I can't remember if it's a new or an A. And again, I think I think they date back from pre 1980s. And this whole collection, um, they look pretty good. Nick, there's some oxidisation that needs cleaning up, but there's there's no teeth marks. The the actual pipes look like they've they've um, come from a discerning collector. So I was hoping they would turn up so I could do a bit of um, well, an unboxing. Uh, but I'll do that when, when they come. And I'm going to try and find a uh, different sales outlet. I mean, the thing is of Etsy, they, it's kind of quite a good platform because you get the footfall. But wow, they do, do they do, they cut into the profits, to be honest. Um, it's not just the Etsy fee you're paying. You're paying VAT on shipping and shipping fees and taxes on taxes and... It's kind of yeah, it, it does throttle the um, the profit margins actually quite considerably. Um, I probably still will, will list everything on Etsy, but I, I'm, I'm going to have to jack up the prices because otherwise it's, it just becomes slightly pointless, you know, you, you, to, to do it for next to nothing. Um, so I'll, prob I'll probably um, present some things on this channel. Um, I was thinking about just just setting up a free website, you know, just a basic website um, with a kind of contact by email um, ordering process or something, just just so I can sort of keep the prices down to something that's realistic. But obviously, of all the new VAT laws that have come in, and I say it's crazy on Etsy, you know, I have to pay a fee on the shipping transaction. And then I have to pay VAT on that fee, and then I'm paying VAT on the payment processing fees. And it's like, you know, if I sell a pipe for 50 euros, I'm, I'm kind of lucky to see sort of 32 euros from it when, once you take out all of the fees. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to kind of explore other avenues of that. Hmm. What we're smoking? We are smoking da -da, Davidoff Royalty. Um, it's one of the tins I got from Andorra the other week, and the nice thing you might notice no health warnings. Now, I've obviously jarred it up. Never. Yeah, and it's, it's a kind of um, ribbon ribbon affair. Um, it's kind of quite a premium tobacco. I mean, when I consider that I think I paid six fifty for a, a tin of capstan, and this was like ten eighty. So it's, and I I I think from um, other retailers the Davidoff range are kind of quite expensive actually.
is it worth the extra money? Um, I mean, this this royalty is actually a really nice tobacco. It's um, I wouldn't say necessarily it's an English um, because it's it's got quite a lot of Oriental in there. Um, it's sort of Latakia, Oriental, and Virginia's. I I think, if I remember correctly. Um, and they're melded together very, very harmoniously, the flavours. It's incredibly smooth. Um, it's not a leap in your face, wow, tobacco. Um, I, I think it's one that can possibly go under the radar. But nonetheless, it, it, it is. I think the leaves that they use are extremely high quality, um, which I'm not sure if Davidoff I haven't done the research. Well, it's made, made, made manufactured in Denmark, so. I, I know Davidoff cigars, you know, there's quite a long process of, um, you know, fermenting the leaves and I have no experience of cigars, so I can't really um, compare the two worlds. But the initial thoughts on this on my first bowl was that, wow, these are very, very good quality leaves. The moisture content is um, absolutely spot on, doesn't need any drying, slightly dry to the touch but not crumbly dry. And it's very gentle on the Latakia, I mean it's um, only, only a small proportion, it's not like a big powerful lap bomb. Um, it's there, and it's there consistently, um, and it is kind of quite a consistent tobacco from the beginning to the end. There's, there's not any really great surprises. I mean, some people might say it's boring, or, or I don't think you could say it was bland. Um, but I think it's definitely one that could fly under the radar. Very oriental forwards. And the question is, I guess, is it worth the extra money? Um, probably not, to be honest. Um, I mean, I, it, it, I would say the quality of the leaves, it is, it is a kind of premium tobacco, but if it's worth 30, 40% more, probably not. Um, I will buy it again because it's like 10 euros a tin. Um, so, yeah, but I, I, I think it's... Um, Again, I haven't I haven't looked, but um, you know I, th I think it's closer to like twenty pounds a tin in the, in the UK. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think it carries uh, kind of quite a premium to it. And I think it's reasonably hard to find as well. I wanted to try the flake medallions, but they didn't have any. Um, they do stock them normally, um, but hopefully next time I go there, they, 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 they'll have the flake medallions. I'm trying to think of a similar tobacco to this. Um, probably the Orsilla mixture on a, on a similar line. Um, I don't think this is quite as sour, the Orientals. It's a lot more smoother and velvety. But it's definitely one of those blends that seems to be quite well... Um, quite well blended in the sense that the, the, the flavours have kind of joined up into something that's quite um, harmonious. And incredibly smooth on the retro hail. But yeah, I mean, it's a good, um, I mean, obviously, it's a bit overcast today, but I mean, I think we're expected to heat 38 degrees in the week, and yeah, I mean, that's that's a bit hot for me to smoke like thoroughbred Englishes, but um, I find um, the kind of oriental um, in, in, in blends, that, you know, oriental forwards blends kind of do lend themselves to um, hotter weather, they're not as heavy as a, as a thoroughbred English.
Well, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Um, I'm going to um, get some more tobacco press this afternoon and uh, keep 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 that journey uh, going. And I will um, show you these pipes when they come. Like I say, yeah, I, I Etsy strangling me, so I'm gonna try. Well, possibly I can sell some via this channel. I don't know. I don't really want to make it into a sales channel per se, but uh, yeah, maybe put a bit more effort into the um, whole social media networking thing. But uh, to be honest, I have a bit of apathy at the moment towards um, social media. I just cannot be bothered to join in. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... all right then guys well I'll, I'll see you in a day or two's time when these new pipes turn up and i'll share that with you and probably another um um tobacco review uh, maybe one of the bentley tobaccos um again quite premium price tobaccos to be honest uh but i'll talk about that in another video this one's probably gone on long enough Right then, well, I hope you enjoyed your weekend, and I shall see you soon. Signing off. Take care now, guys. Thanks a lot.